What's going on guys? My name is Mr. Hurricane and welcome back to the Sammy Hollins Road to Glory. This week Sammy and the Clemson Tigers take on the Florida State Seminoles in their second ACC battle on the season. Number two now after we were number one, kept winning yet lost our ranking and went to number two. Doesn't make sense but let's get into the action. Oh man, it's raining for the second week in a row. But this week we're rocking the all purple jerseys and pants combination. And we're here to take on the Florida State Seminoles. They're 2-2. Two two. Not a great start to the year for them. We'll take a look at their roster before we get into the action, but we're looking to stay on top. So who do we have to defend this week, Sammy? It's going to be Clint Trickett and Devontae Freeman at halfback and at wide receiver. Rashad Green, nice speedy receiver. Christian Green, Jared Haggins, and Kenny Shaw. They got a deep receiving core. It'll be a test, but... We can handle it. How are they not ranked? What, what happened to them? Playing center field. Here we go. First down and 10 and trick it with the handoff. And, okay. Only three tackles the last two weeks for Sammy. I believe he had one last week, or it was the week before. But, already off to a good start with a tackle. Okay, it's time to get on the stat sheet again because it's been really quiet the last two games. You're going to run the ball again. You got that deep receiving core. You got one receiver on the field. Come on, man. I can tell why you're losing. You're not playing to your strengths. And here's the handoff. That's a big man blocking. Number 70. Wow. Normally we are so good against the run. But when you have like a 300 pound behemoth leading the way. You're going to get some yards. And well there's three more. Uh oh. Playing at the line of scrimmage. It's a toss. Away from Sammy. But that doesn't mean he can make a tackle. Come on. Third down and six. Here's the man in motion. They're going to throw to the side. Oh, you got to pick that. I just realized we kind of look like Florida. You know, kind of. <laughs> and what can we do on offense? Come on, Cole. Lead us down. There's Humphreys for 18. Watkins for 14. Get it in the end zone. Touchdown, Clemson. I like this offense. Not a big fan of this zone. This is what I call the cover two soft zone. And this is a handoff. And oh, boy. Loss of two. Just throw the ball already. Three wide, and they still run it. Oh, no. I wanted the big hit. I can't do that. I see you bunching them up over here. Don't think I don't see that. What are they going to do, though? They're going to dump it off safely, and this time they're just going to go for the wrap-up, and they get the first down. I form two receivers. Come on. Full back in the tight end. You running it? Indeed. Nice little juke <laughs> to get tackled. And here come the defense chance. Third down, get loud. Even in the comment section. Ah, uh, I did. I wanted to go down there so bad. But at the same time, I didn't want to abandon my zone. Hey, we still stopped him a yard short. All right, they had to punt, and we're going to go down the field. Right, Cole Stout, what are we going to do? We're going to show him how six is scored? I think so. Wait, what happened? Well, somebody turned the ball over, and now we don't have a two-score lead. Instead, we're defending the run. And hey, nice tackle, Sammy. He got five yards. Only one wide over here. And will they throw it deep? Yes, they will. And oh my, there's the speed. That's what I was worried about. It finally go deep, and I don't, I never had a chance. That dude is fast. Guys, I just realized, look at this burning Christian Green does. And... That is the same Christian Green that was in the Vikings franchise. He wanted to get me back for never getting him playing time. Well, you got me. Okay, we know Christian's fast. We'll respect his speed next time better. Gotta play the pass. And dump off City. Here we come. They have the, the other Green on their team. He's even faster than Christian, so I, I better play a little off. Especially if they want to keep stretching it. They did once and it was successful, but now it's dink and dunk. And what does the coordinator do? He says, do a zone blitz. Okay, we're just going to cover with six guys. All right, second and five. Oh, we played way too soft there. And that's a first down. Is that Christian Green getting the first down? <laughs> and that was Christian Green that Sammy just got done lighting up. <laughs> Payback for that touchdown. So under 20 seconds to go in the first half. There's a short throw outside. There we go. Don't let him get out of bounds. Clock will keep running. They may have time for one or two more plays. We're just going to cover the end zone now. Doesn't matter if they go underneath. There we go. And first down. One timeout. They'll kick the ball now. 
Oh, they're gonna go for the end zone on a throw? You gotta be kidding me. No. No, pick it somebody! We got good coverage. Okay, incomplete. Wow, that was gutsy. I thought they were gonna go for the field goal. And into the second half we go, and it's seven to seven still. Florida State giving us all they can. They can stretch the field. They can do it. Seven to seven. And now it's an option play to the right, and we'll take that one out of the playbook. Oh, it's this soft zone cover two look. Be careful, guys. They need seven yards. I don't like this call. They need seven. Oh, deep to the outside, but Trickett's throw sails out of bounds. Defensive bold. Second down and seven. Pump up the crowd. Got me on the tailback, so if he's running. Oh, boy, it's an option. Thank you. It's all I wanted. That's all I wanted to do today. I just wanted to push my shoulder into a running back really badly. All right, third and seven. That'll get the crowd into it after that big hit by Sammy. Oh, it's a screen, and he's wrapped up immediately. A loss of four. Florida State's defense, they're talented. Third down and eight, and it's a handoff, and that dude just came through. Oh, man. What a, that was a really poor effort. And now what are we going to do? About a 47-yard field goal attempt for Clemson. This will give us the lead back. And here's the kick. From the left hash, it's up, and it's good! Clemson 10, FSU 7. First down and 10 now for Florida State as they want to answer back. And we almost picked six. Second down and 10. Get the crowd into it, it doesn't matter. And will it be a deep throw? Everybody's going long, and here we go. The opportunity. Oh my god, the controls just don't feel normal. Third and ten. Could be the last play of the third quarter. And over the middle, you got to pick that. Why are we dropping every pick today, guys? The offense has another three and out, and it's only ten to seven here in the fourth. Oh, man. I wasn't even going for the big hit. I was just, wow. Second and two. Oh my goodness! Wumble! Okay, this time it's a backward pass. Thank you. We got it this time. You plan on making this a two-score game, right? Third down and goal inside the five. Cole Stout. Underneath. Touchdown. Clemson. 16-7. So I got the tight end, huh? Man coverage of the blitz. Could it be an option? Nope, it's a throw. Middle, over the middle, it's all oh, a spin move and a block! No! No, this can't happen! Wow! Touchdown, Florida State! Wow. Just a simple little slant right there, a spin move, and then this dude picks up two blocks. And then see ya! Well, FSU is giving this winning streak a run for its money. 17 to 14, two and a half minutes to play. And this time, no spin move. I believe the winning streak is at 16. I don't want it to end now. Second down and three. Trick it to throw. He could be looking deep. And he fires a bullet that's dropped again. Third and three. They could be running it here. And it's a play action. Outside. That is not enough for the first down. Fourth down. What will they do? You had to know they would go for it. Fourth down and one. Three wide, single back, man in motion. It's a pass. They're going to throw it outside, and he's got the first down. Come on, crowd, help us out. They're way too quiet. First down and ten. Over the middle, intercepted. Finally, you pick it off. You did it at the right time. I'll give you that. But well, how much time can we really burn? They've already used two timeouts, a minute 18 to go, and he's gonna throw. Come on, Cole, outside, and it's knocked away. That was so close. Number 19. Oh my, what a thrilling game this has been. 17 to 14, one minute, eight seconds remain. If we can steal the ball back, it's game over, but there's a seven yard completion. 59 seconds. What will it be this time? A dump off, and he will get the first down, so the clock will stop. Second and 10, 50 seconds remain. And deep to the outside, it's caught first down just beyond the 40. A field goal sends us to overtime. 
Oh, this guy's going to get open here on that slant. Here's the deep ball, and it's intercepted. I hate these controls, but at least we got the pick. Oh, my goodness. It could have been Sammy right there. And here is the interception, and it looks like it goes through both players' hands. 21 takes it, and that's going to pretty much clinch the game for us. But this is my problem with the controls in here. Now, you don't have full control. It only... Like, I hit triangle, so I should have jumped, but I just ran forward like five yards. What, what animation is that one? And that's the game. It was awfully close. And this week, we actually get an after-the-game celebration. Last two weeks, they cut it short. So, we get the victory 17-14. to Not a great game for Sam, but the deep balls were a mess. But, oh, we got the win, and that's all that matters. 17-14, this undefeated train keeps moving. On the day, Sammy has four tackles and had like four opportunities for picks that were all derailed by a poorly designed control scheme. Next week, Clemson and Sammy Hollins will take on the Duke Blue Devils as we look to continue this winning streak and get back to number one because that's where we belong. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.